Raymond B. Johnson. I'm playing Sweeney Todd. He wants... Sweeney's a guy who's very disturbed, and he wants revenge for the things that have been done to him in the past. And he's, uh, he's prepared to do anything and everything to exact that vengeance. It's been such an interesting process with him with regards to Sweeney because he and I had a completely polar opposite view of the character. Um, and, and what's been interesting is to see those two come together uh, throughout the course of the rehearsal process because um, the one thing I don't believe in is I don't believe in the director being it's this is the way it is and that's just, you know, that's, that's, this is the only way to do it and that's it. I do like working with T. He always has the play in mind. Um, he understands the story from start to finish and he's always aware of where we are in the, the procedure of events. He likes to try and go in order of the story as it's presented, um, which for me helps because then I get to know the story in order first. Then afterwards, if he needs to, we can jump around a bit more and, and you know work the trouble spots before we come back and maybe put it all together again. Um, and that's just a nice way to go through it. I like, I like working that way, and it's, it's nice that we're compatible in that regard. It's great to work with Ray. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he, he just absorbs direction. Um, and not from the standpoint of just, he doesn't just wait for direction. He's constantly making choices, acting choices on his own. But then if I... You know, if I if I give him a piece of direction and tell him, okay, yeah, I love that. Let's take it further. He will take the note and take it further, and it's the next time. I never have to give him a note twice um, to remind him of something. He's he's always on top of it, and uh, it's, it's just it's 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 great to work with him. And plus, his, I mean, his voice is phenomenal, and, um, and he's he's just he's a great Sweeney. He's he's delightfully creepy. I'm alive and lost, and I'm favorite part is uh, the, the recklessness. He's allowed, because of how he develops over the course of the story, he's allowed to do some very bizarre things that most characters don't or wouldn't ever think to do. It's not in their vocabulary, but when someone goes and is, is wrong as deeply and as, as hurt as much as Sweeney is, strange things can happen. We've sort of discovered this this incarnation of Sweeney together, it's actually been really, really fun. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a very dark character, but the one thing that I wanted to focus on with this Sweeney is, is that he's human. I know the subtitle of the show is The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, but he's not a demon. He's just a man who has been pushed beyond his limits. And Ray has just fully, in, he's just fully engulfed that, 100%. Um, and it's just been it's just been great. Well, like every good actor, I when I started the production and knew what my casting was, I asked the director, um, "What do you want me to do with my hair?" And he said, "Don't cut it." So f since December, I didn't cut it. And uh, a couple of weeks came uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Now we're about about a month before we opened when we started. He said, "I think I want you to do bald on top and short on the sides." And, Let's see what you've got. And uh, so we, just last week, we kind of pared it down and got it real close. And he said, yeah, that's about how I want it. So I shaved up the top and trimmed in the sides. And this, the, the beard and mustache were just kind of there the whole time. I, uh, they stayed length. So this is, this is the full two months, three months now of growth. And so is this. But all the rest is trimmed pretty tight. It'll be... It'll be well kept for the show. I mean, I mean, I'm envious of his mustache. Uh, just get working through the process of his uh, of, of shaving and, and getting his beard going and everything was was, was pretty fun. Because they, when they shaved it, I was not in the building, so I was getting they they would shave a little bit and then send me a picture on the cell phone, and then they would shave a little bit and send me a picture on the cell phone, and I would go, yep, more, more, and they were they were sending things back and forth that way. Excuse me. Okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah, they, they were they were sending me all kinds of updates on his pictures, and I would say yeah, shorter, 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 until finally with the beard, uh, we finally got it like like we actually wanted it. I mean, what's not to like? There's there's 
I asked somebody, you know, what, what do you like? Do you like romance? There's beautiful love songs all throughout this. Do you want a little action? Hey, there's some, there's some killing, there's some murder, there's some action in this. Um, do you like mystery? There's mystery in this. There, you don't know who certain people are. There's people with masks, people pretending to be people they're not. I mean, Sweeney himself is not who he pretends to be. Um, so there's every, any kind of story you like is going to be satisfied in this production of Sweeney Tech.